seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hi, Search Kids. Thanks for joining us today. Whether you're watching us at the Coral Springs campus in London, England, maybe on your mom's phone, your dad's phone, or the living room TV, I am so excited to see all of you guys. No matter where you're watching it, I'm excited to see you guys. Now, boys and girls, when Moses sent spies into the land of Canaan to check out the land, he expected these spies to come back with great news. Instead, 10 of the 12 spies came back with reports of how impossible it would be to take over the land. But Joshua and Caleb, two spies, they reported that although there were giants in the land, God was greater and God was able to give them the victory for the land. They understood that God is bigger than any problem we may face. In our lesson today, we will learn that God is bigger than any difficulty or any problem that we may face in life. You see, boys and girls, we must trust God and keep our focus on Him. Before we jump into our lesson today, let's pray. Everyone, bow your heads and close your eyes. Let's talk to Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for every boy and for every girl who is watching this Surge Kids service today. God, I pray that you would be with us. God, help us to not be worried. Help us to not be afraid. But God, I pray that we would be reminded that you are bigger and you are greater than any difficulty or any impossible situation that we may face. God, help us to put our trust in you and our confidence to know that you are bigger than our enemy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Great job, guys. Now stay tuned for this week's intro video. Man, I could get used to this. No kidding. This is the life. No worries, no cares. No kidding. Delta Tango, this is Foxtrot. Do you read me? <whistles> Loud and clear, Foxtrot. Do you see them? I sure do. Those boys are relaxing like they own the place. Uh, I think they do own the place. You know what I mean. We're gonna ambush them good today. You hear something? Oh man, I don't hear anything but the sweet sound of relaxation. Oh, okay. Okay, Operation I Spy is in full effect. Let's move in. 10-4. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah, were you spying on us? We sure were, and we did a great job at it too. Yeah, that's not fair. Of course it's fair. Yeah, there's even spies in the Bible. Spies in the Bible? Technically she's right. I remember the Bible story of Moses sending out the 12 spies. It's pretty awesome. Well, I'll tell you what isn't awesome. The neighbor girls spying on us and deflating our floaties. Sounds pretty awesome to me. <laughs> hey boys, time for dinner. Your cousin Boudreaux's here. Yep, and I brought you boys some possum pot pie and some fresh roadkill radishes. You're gonna love it. Yuck. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, hide. Hi Surge Kids, it's about that time again. Time to worship Jesus. We are super excited to worship God with you today. Remember, Jesus loves hearing our worship to him. We worship Jesus because he is always good and we get to show our love to him through our worship. Let's stand to your feet and get ready to jump, dance, and sing to Jesus. Let's have crazy fun together and give our best worship to God. Let's go. There's no way you won't go 
Nothing you won't do No place that I could hide You were always in pursuit I'm never too far gone Always in your side When I wait for you You're always right on time You're always pursuing Always pursuing Always pursuing me More than the air I breathe I need you here with me And you're never gonna stop Never gonna stop And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop chasing me You made a way for me Opened up the door Jesus, you have my heart Now and forevermore You're always pursuing
What's happening, you crazy cats? It's me, Disco Dave, and I'm here to tell you what you gotta know. Today, we're learning that God is bigger than any enemy we face. So every time today you hear somebody ask you what you gotta know, you tell them. My enemy is big, but my God is bigger. God is bigger than any enemy you may face. Has God even seen my enemy? He is one ginormous dude. He may be, but my God is super huge. He makes your enemies look like little pipsqueaks. It don't matter who your enemy is, God will take care of you. So every time today you hear somebody ask you what you gotta know, you tell them. My enemy is big, but my God is bigger. All right, kids, that right there is what you gotta know. Well, I'm Disco Dave saying, Dino Mine! Hey, Sirs Kids, do you know that the largest animal in the world is a blue whale? What's the biggest thing you can think of? Let me hear it. Wow, those are some pretty big things. But guess what, God is even bigger. Even when we feel like our situation is too big for us to handle, God is bigger and he will take care of us. Great job saying today's what you gotta know. My enemy is big, but my God is bigger. Now stay tuned for this week's Powerverse video. Hello there, boys and girls! It is I, Presto Changeo, the greatest illusionist of all time! Nothing up my sleeve! <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> anyway, boys and girls, I am here to teach you today's powder verse. Today's powder verse says Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. Isaiah 41 10. What a beautiful power verse, but not as beautiful as me. <laughs> now it is time to make the words of the power verse disappear with the help of my handy dandy assistant, Hokey. Hocus Pocus is my name. Yeah, sure, whatever. Now it is time to make part of the power verse disappear. Watch. Ah, yes. Now, which words should I make disappear? Hmm. How about this one? And this one. Yes. Now, boys and girls, you shall all say the power verse with Hokey as Hocus. I knew I should have turned you into a pigeon long ago. Here we go. One, two, three. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged. For I am your God, Isaiah 41.10. You are all pretty amazing, but not as amazing as this. I am going to now make even more words vanish before your eyes, like this one. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, let's just see how well you kids remember it. Say it with me now on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three! Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. Isaiah 41.10 Good job! Now for my greatest trick ever! No, it's not. Okay, now you're just being rude. <laughs> On you, okay? All right, now it's time for my greatest trick. I will make myself disappear. This is Presto Changeo saying, now you see me. No, you don't. Haha, -ha, here we go. Kitten caboodle snap a double. Hey, Surge Kids. I'm going to let you in on a secret. I'm afraid of the dark. There, I said it. Now you know. There are so many strange sounds. There's no light. I can't see what's going on around me. It gets me really nervous. But when I'm at home, in bed, trying to fall asleep, and I start getting afraid, I remember our power verse. It reminds me that God is always with me. Great job saying today's power verse. Up next, our Bible story with Pastor Mindy. This is a 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Let us know up all the pages that this show gone off Let us word explode from this video into your life 
girls, it's time to learn this week's Bible story. Today's Bible story is found in Numbers chapter 13 and 14. God had promised the people of Israel that he had some land that was going to be theirs. He told Moses to send 12 men to spy out the land, one man from each tribe of Israel. They were instructed to find out about the land and the people in the land. Moses told the spies to find out if the people were strong or weak. Did they live in cities or camps? Were there forests or not? Moses asked them to bring back some of the fruit that was ripe so they could see the fruit of the land. The 12 men went into the land and found that it was really a good land. They saw that the grapes were so big that it took two men to carry a cluster of them on a pole between them. There were so many amazing things that they saw, including that the people were very big and very tall. When they returned to their own camp after 40 days, the spies showed Moses the good fruit they had found in the land. Ten of the men began to tell about the giants and how fearful they were. They told of the large cities with high walls around them. We cannot go into this land, they said. We felt like grasshoppers next to them. And that's what we looked like to them. The ten spies struck fear into the hearts of the Israelites. The Israelites began to moan and complain. We wish we had died in Egypt. At least there, we were taken care of while we were in captivity. Can you believe that? They allowed the bad report of the ten spies to make them completely afraid. There were two spies, though, who had quite a different perspective. Their names were Joshua and Caleb. Joshua and Caleb didn't whine and complain and give in to their fear. Instead, they told Moses and the Israelites, The land we explored is a wonderful land. The Lord will bring us safely into that land and give it to us. The Lord is with us. Don't be afraid of them. Isn't that an awesome attitude? In your lesson today, you are going to learn all about the attitude of these two amazing spies. You're going to learn that your enemies may be big, but the God you serve is bigger. But up next, you know what time it is. That's right, it's game time. Hey, Search Kids, it's game time. In today's game, you are going to be shown two different items. One of them is real and one of them is fake. Your job is to guess which one is the real item. Do you think you can do it? You can play this game however you want. Boys versus girls, kids versus parents. Just remember to keep score. Are you ready? Here we go.
Guys, that was so much fun. Thanks for playing. Now stay tuned for our call to action with Pastor Eric. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive hi boys and girls have you guys ever wanted to be a spy perhaps you wanted to spy on your brother or sister or maybe you wanted to be a spy that you could look in on your parents and see where they were going and what you were going to get for christmas most of us have probably thought at one time or another that being a spy was pretty cool and don't get me wrong i think it would be awesome and i would probably have a lot of fun being an undercover spy in our Bible story today, we learned about some very important spies. Now, these spies were sent into the land called Canaan to find out about the land, to see the people of the land and, and everything that was there. These 12 men, they went into the land and they found that it was really, really, really good land. Now, they said the land was so good that grapes were big that these grapes weren't like little grapes. They were so big, it would take two people just to carry a cluster of grapes on a pole between them. Those are some really big grapes. But there was also something else about the land. Do you remember what the 10 spies that they said about the people who lived there? Yeah, they said, we cannot go into this land. We felt like grasshoppers next to these people. That's what we looked like next to them. Now, boys and girls, these spies were falling into the trap of fear. Many times, this is a trap that the devil wants us to, to be caught up in. He uses us this trap so we would be afraid. He uses fear in order to trap us. The devil knows that if we are afraid, we will worry about what is going to happen to us. Like these spies, it's easy for us to begin to focus on our problems. But boys and girls, you have to realize Whatever you focus on grows. Boys and girls, that's my first point. Repeat after me. Whatever you focus on grows. Now, boys and girls, those 10 spies were totally focused on the enemies of the land. And they became so focused on those enemies that they started calling them giants. Not only that, they began to see them as even bigger than what they really were. They said things like, we just felt like grasshoppers next to them. They look like, they look so big. Now, boys and girls, I have a question. How did these spies know what the giants thought? They didn't go to them and started conducting interviews. They didn't talk to the giants. They didn't say, hey, do we look like grasshoppers to you? No. The fact is, these 10 spies were focusing so much on the problems in the land that the problems seemed to be a lot bigger than what they really were. Sometimes, I think we do that too. We focus on the fact that it's hard to make friends. We say things like, nobody likes me at all, or everyone hates me. You see, if we focus on how hard it is to get good grades in math, sometimes we say things like, I'm dumb. I just can't learn math. I can't get any questions right. Boys and girls, whatever you focus on grows. So don't focus on your problems like the 10 spies did, because you know what happens? When you focus on the problems and the fear, fear makes you want to give up. Boys and girls, that's my second point. Repeat after me. Fear makes you want to give up. Now, boys and girls, the Bible tells us that after the 10 spies gave their fear-filled report, the Israelites wanted to go back to Egypt. Now, imagine this. They said, we wish we had died in Egypt or, or somewhere in the wilderness. Let's get out of here and let's return to Egypt. Boys and girls, isn't that terrible? They wanted to go back to being slaves in Egypt because they were letting their fear take over. 
Boys and girls, if we allow fear to take over in our lives, we will most likely feel the same way. We will feel like we don't want to obey God. We will feel like we want to quit. We will feel like we want to give up and stop serving God. And that is not at all what God wants for us. Boys and girls, we should be the example that the other two spies were. We should be like Joshua and Caleb. You see, Joshua and Caleb, they didn't whine and they didn't complain and they definitely didn't give into fear. Instead, they told Moses and the Israelites, the land we explored is a wonderful land. The Lord will bring us safely into this land and God will give it to us. The Lord is with us. Don't be afraid of them. You see, boys and girls, when you face big problems, do just like Joshua and Caleb. Choose to focus on God. Boys and girls, that's my third point. Repeat after me. Choose to focus on God. You see, boys and girls, it's true that our problems may be big, but our God is bigger. God is more powerful than our enemy, the devil, and God is able to help us do anything and everything that God has called us to. We can't let our fear keep us from accomplishing all that God has called us to do. Joshua didn't deny that there are problems, but he didn't focus on them. He focused on God, who is so much bigger than the problems. So boys and girls, no matter what problem you may be facing today, whether it's sadness, a problem at school, a problem in your family, or maybe a bad habit that nobody knows about. Whatever it is, don't focus on how big your problem is. Focus on how powerful your God is. You see, that's what Joshua did. That's what Caleb did. And that's what we should do as well. When we do that, God, he can do big things in our lives. Boys and girls, right now, I want you to bow your heads and I want you to close your eyes. I want to pray for some of you today that are going through a difficult time, that are maybe faced with a, a really big problem. I want to pray that you guys don't focus on your problems, but you focus on how powerful God is. Right now, let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for every boy and for every girl that is here at Surge Kids today. God, I know and I believe that there are some kids today who are facing big problems. God, when we're facing big problems, we can get scared and we can get worried and we can be like those 10 spies that think it's just impossible and there's no way that we can get the victory. God, I pray today in boldness, we would put our trust in you. Just like Caleb and just like Joshua, we would say that our God is bigger than our problems and we would put our trust in you. God, today, help us not to be scared, help us not to be afraid, but help us to put our trust in you that the enemy is big, but our God is bigger. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Rewind! Boys and girls, it's time for Rewind, where we go over review questions of today's service. You can play this however you want. You can play it boys versus girls. You can play it kids versus parents. However you want to do it, just make sure to keep score. Here we go. Number one, what you got to know today? Is it God is my friend? I will win the battle? Or my enemy is big, but my God is bigger? The answer is my enemy is big, but my God is bigger. Number two, what was the name of the land God had promised the Israelites? Was it Canaan, Caribbean, or Canada? And the answer is Canaan. Number three, how many spies did Moses send into the land? Was it four, 10, or 12? The answer is 12. Number four, how many of the spies came back with a bad report? Was it one of them? 10 of them or all 12? The answer is 10. Number five, what were the names of the two spies who came back with a good report? Was it Joshua and Caleb, John and Jacob, or Harry and Barry? The answer, Joshua and Caleb. Number six, according to our lesson today, whatever you blank on grows. 
focus, sit, or sneeze? The answer is focus. Number seven, according to our lesson today, fear makes you want to blank blank. Does it make you want to be sad, give up, or party hardy? And the answer is give up. Number eight, according to our lesson today, choose to focus on blank, nothing, yourself, or God. And the answer is God. Number nine, is God bigger than any enemy we face? Yes or no? The answer is yes. And number 10, where was our power verse found? Was it Isaiah 41.10, Israel 9.10, or Ishmael 14.14? 14, 14? And the answer is Isaiah 41.10. Boys and girls, that's all the time we have for today. Let's stand up and we'll say our closing prayer all together. Say it loud, say it proud, repeat after me. Say, Father, help us to be the kids in the church you have called us to be. Kids that always build up and never tear down. Kids that always encourage and never discourage. Kids in a church that take a message of hope Everywhere we go, to everyone we meet, in Jesus' name, all that you deserve, amen.